<clears throat> Welcome to Pagan 2. This time I didn't forget to turn on the lamp that brightens my face. Uh, sequel or semi-sequel to Pagan 1? Uh, I don't know, we're just gonna get into it, but it's, uh, let's read the game store page a little bit. It's called Pagan Emporium, The Devil is Watching. Uh, let's see, anything actually important to read? She says, hey, see if you can manage to make friends with the devil. Uh, I for inventory, K to check skills again, and E to interact. And there's a secret ending. But okay, we're gonna get into it. Yeah. Or wait, what? what yeah, there we go. What? Oh, so, yeah, it's, it seems like a direct sequel, and I... The statue we interacted with at the end of the first game? Not that I'd understand even the the artsy nature of the original game or the intended purpose or anything like that, but hey, I would uh, dead letters it's the same thing, so we're just going to be gathering sh chivalries fire priest, murder, modern tarot cards and dead letters I'm sure people are happy I didn't call it modern tarot cards <laughs> uh, but yeah Wait, so we'd be giving those, it might be like the VHS tapes in the previous game, who knows. Oh, they're not pill people anymore. Need not... Damn, this guy's kinky, like, not talisman, goddamn. And now the fox cult went that advanced. Ha <laughs> ha, furry joke. But, other than that, I'm gonna be wandering this wasteland. I don't know why things turn into a wasteland. And gathering this shit before we move on to the third game, which looks more interesting. Uh, oh, hey, we got the sword. Oh, requires five knights. It doesn't, at least it doesn't require five knots. I want that sword, though. Hey, what do you want, buddy? Need not. Okay, he wants the knot, too. <laughs> Uh, fuck me. Um, I gotta see if I can enter any of these houses. No. Confusing. Do you want the knot too? He wants the knot. Hamilton! It's the city where I live. Why, why... Are you hacking my location? You just happen to know? Where I live, and you're just saying you're just trying to flex that you th this is my hometown blown up. I mean, sorry, it's not my hometown, but it's the city I'm in right now. Well, it's the first building I think I can enter, so I'm kind of curious. Mm -hmm. You want the knot too? Can I play Mega Man on you? Damn! It's pretty cool music. It reminds me of Mega Man 1, 2, and 3. Maybe, maybe 4. I just can't... Does he also want the knot? He seems a little preoccupied. We'll leave him for now. Blessing. It looks dangerous to go near this guy. I don't know. Oh, I need to kill him with the weapon. Okay. I got you. I got you. He's blocking my way. He's being a little party pooper. He's being a... Oh, oh. oh my... What is it? Some kind of armor, but I have no idea what it is. Maybe... Maybe it's the... Maybe it's the knot? I, I don't fucking know. Can I interact with this? No. Alright. Nope, it's not the knot talisman. I shall explore even further. Oh, what is this? Fucking... A spear! Okay, we can't attack them, but... 
we could maybe kill the people in the temple now? Some kind of like fucking Roman or Spartan shield and spear combo? Is that another one? Oh, the speed boots! Hell yeah! Give me the speed boots. Let's enter the cave. Get out of here. Murder! Yeah! Alright, we got all the dead letters and fire priest. He's gotta murder more people. And get 6666 again. You! Out of the way! I just had to e hit E on him. Uh, we're back in the temple, though. Okay, well that quickens things a little bit. Do I get the blessing if I give him all the tarot cards? What? Is that murder, too? I didn't read it. Is that a horse? And a chair? Weird. I don't know, it's like the philosophy skulls from the previous game just sort of melded with the computer. I don't know if I got Blessing, but I'll check it out one more time. No. Alright. Yeah, get out of my way. It's a post-apocalyptic world, it's okay to murder. Whoops, wait. I'm just bumping into him! Wait, I got seven? I guess. Okay. Excalibur! Uh, well, I don't have Excalibur. What is this? The fuck is this? Oh, it's a talisman. That might be the not talisman. Okay, we have to come back to this temple a little later. No, wait, what? No, it's just a torch. Um, or maybe it's holy. We'll try it out. Since it's a talisman, I'm going to believe it is the, the not talisman. We'll be going to be talking to the people to have chival... Or, oh, it's not even chivalries. It's chival... Rex? Shovel Rex? Shovel Rex. Yo. Odd. I don't know where they're going. Maybe I should follow. Um. Yeah, where are you going? Are you going to the statue, maybe? Need not talisman. I think it's just. I'm done interacting with them? I, I don't. I don't know, man. I gotta find the soldier dudes again. You. Excalibur once again. Five knight. Oh, the knight. Like basically, again, like knights of the round sort of shit. I guess we need all of them to go there before I can get the sword, which is needed for that big painting. For maybe the blessing. Weird. Oh, wait. We can get it up to seven, then, I think. Hmm. Yeah. Alright, well, if we get up to seven, that means we might be missing things. It's no longer six, 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 but seven. No, oh, I'm missing one? I don't know where the fuck the other one is. Must be somewhere in the middle. Because I've been following the exterior of the map. Oh, there you are, motherfucker. Yes. Alright, do I have to wait for him to physically come here? No. Got the sword. Alright, well... I don't know if there's anything I'm missing, then. I mean, we're missing a lot, honestly, by this alone. We need to murder one more and one more dead letters, then. But I haven't seen it... So hopefully we'll find it before the end, because I don't think there's anything outside that I'm missing. All these buildings I can't enter, and I've tried. Like, there's no interact button, for instance. So... We're just going to the bill. I'm gonna see where we can go. But we need blessings still. Oh, wait, what? I'll leave you alone for now. He's blocking the blessing sign for some reason. I am blessed! Mm. 
All right, now this guy's got to go. Fuck you. I mean, I'm missing one dead letter, though, so... I don't want to click this if it's the end end. Uh, I'll investigate a little bit more uh, to see if I can find the last dead scroll, because somehow I missed one. Unless I'm given to it, it's like given to me afterwards. Um, but yeah, I want 7777. Even though the ending might just be like, you know, a novel at the end describing things which may amount to nothing. The developer also says there's a secret. And I don't think this is a secret. That's probably a linear pathway. So there's probably a secret or a secret ending. And, um... And just, you know, the main ending. Who knows? We'll find out. It probably involves wearing this... Whatever this is. Like, I don't... It's like... Maybe armor? I don't know. Yeah, I have no idea. Okay, I missed it. May have to do with this armor, but I don't know. Let's click this. Normal ending, yep. Where are you going? Where are you coming from? What are you heading for? These are totally useless questions. Making a clean slate, starting or beginning again from ground zero, seeking a beginning of a foundation all... Foundation all? Imply a false conception of voyage and movement, conception that is method... Methodical? Me isn't it methodical? Ah, oh, pedagogical? Initiatory? Symbolic? But... Kleist? Lens? And... Okay. Well, you guys can read the rest of it when, if you pause the video. As for me, I could not read it all. And, uh, yeah. Very weird game. As expected. In the third game, <clears throat> which I will, I guess, play after this to finish it all off, is Otto Jenny. Um... Experimental first-person open-world playing game set in the digital ruins of a largely abandoned MMORPG. It is heavily inspired by long-forgotten bargain bin 1990s adventure games. 100 acres of lovingly handcrafted playable space, increasing, increasingly esoteric series of secret endings in five major zones, a litany of hidden areas for idiosyncratic, repeatable boss fights, over 7,000 gear combinations? Five strange eldritch skills and very cursed gender magic. Wait, ge gender magic? I don't know. Okay, uh, exercise in aesthetic maximalism. Maximalism? In other words, it's pretty big by normal alt game standards. A full adventure will take several hours. You can return at spawn point anytime to save an exit. So this game is much bigger than the previous ones. And its price tag is 666. Ha ha ha. But either way, I'll leave that for another time then. But I hope you enjoyed the weirdness of that bitch. That, that just was packing too. If you did enjoy it, please leave a like, comment, hit that subscribe button, become a subscriber, and the notification down below for updates on my videos. Thank you for watching, until the next time. Mm.